This is Streamline News for Wednesday, September 28, 2011, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. A University of Florida swimmer has been cut from the team after being arrested for the second time this year. Lily Ramirez was detained at a Gainesville jail Monday after police found a, quote, white powdery substance in her purse that was later revealed to be cocaine. Ramirez was at a concert that night when she got into an altercation with another woman, which prompted the police to be called. Earlier this year, Ramirez was arrested for shoplifting with a teammate and paid a fine for that. Florida head coach Greg Troy said in a statement that Ramirez was attempting to rejoin the team this season as a walk-on, but now will not be a part of the Gators. Ramirez could face up to five years in prison if convicted for drug possession. Marika Guerra is now up to seven gold medals at the Australian University Games. The University of Melbourne student won four golds today, setting meet records in the 50 free, 50 fly and 100 back and helping the Melbourne team to victory in the 400 free relay. Kyle Richardson won the 50 free in 2269 and in a sign that swimmers are training through this meet, Christian Springer won the 200 breast, the event in which he holds the world record of 207.31 with a 219.40. You can read more about the meet at swimmingworld.com. Michael Phelps got a different kind of training partner earlier this week during a promotional visit to New York City. Phelps did a very, very brief workout with Winter Games superstar Apollo Anton Ono, who is training for the New York City Marathon. In this video from Universal Sports, Phelps is in the second lane, while Ono is in the lane closest to us. After the swim, Phelps gave Ono some technique tips and joked that Ono could be a part of the 2016 U.S. Olympic swim team. Now, Ono, obviously, as you can see, not a very bad swimmer. Both swimmers are sponsored by Subway and were in New York to help promote the mega chain. That's Streamline News for today. Thanks for watching.